Greetings and salutations everyone and welcome back to Nobody Wants to Die. In the last episode we rushed uh, to Sarah's aid, or so we thought, and uh, because uh, the, the killer or the stranger with whom we talked um, insinuated, heavily insinuated uh, twice that he would be going after Sarah. And now here we are, we have found Sarah, and she's, uh, well, she's, she's well, uh, for her circumstances uh, that she is in. So, um, but, but there are lots of questions. I mean, she apparently got this body she's inhabiting right now, uh, from, uh, from the black market. So, how did that go? Why? Why would she do that? and other things. There are lots of red rooster drawings around this place and um, drawings like that one, see? And so, yeah, but there's no explanation um, what they're for or what's going on with that. So yeah, let's uh, have a talk with her. One night, when the acid rain was bad, Taylor and I hid upstairs, where you came in. Taylor, that's the name Back of then, one... it was just a two by three foot hole that ended in a wall of rubble. And instead of sitting in the cold with her teeth chattering like any normal person, Taylor started fiddling with the flashlight. Mm -hmm. And then something flashed in the pile of rubble, so we started digging. And we dug until we unearthed this little Statue of Liberty figurine. It was beaten up, but looked valuable. Mm -hmm. And we fenced it right away. And we came back here hoping to find more. Who's Taylor? Who's Taylor? The greatest treasure in this dump. We found out there used to be a museum here. So we dug more. Day after day, till our hands were bloody. We kept digging for normal people. A portrait of misery, desperation. But for Taylor, we were adventurers on a fucking hmm. treasure hunt. <laughs> we glued, fixed, and sold everything we found. Would you believe we, we excavated this whole place like a pair of underage slum archaeologists? <laughs> How long did it take? Almost five years, but it was our livelihood. We were dirt poor and surrounded by dirt, but we felt rich. At least until Taylor tricked me. Eight years ago, give or take a few days. Not like you're holding a grudge or anything. I remember exactly when she tricked me, because it was when I turned 21. Her subscription. And mm -hmm. Taylor paid for it for me. She did it behind my fucking back. Oh. Yeah, what a bitch. <laughs> she only thought of others. Never herself. Selfless to a fault. After a month, her subscription expired. And we were broke. There was no one to help. She wound up in the bank. And the body went to auction. Bugger. And that's why I have to get her out. No matter what it takes. You get it now? Yeah, I get it. But... Oh, fuck! Damn it. Got any Ambrosia anywhere? Anything higher octane? I'll pour us something. Or you can also help yourself to Ambrosia in the bedroom. 
Ooh, the bedroom. Hey. Eh? Um, thanks for the offer. I think uh, we'll stick to the ambrosia stuff for now. Oh, look at that. Synchronization, the key to happiness. By what? Jane Selma. Oh, ho. We have already discovered the key to eternal life. Now it's time for the key to eternal happiness. It's the book you're holding. Jane Sammer, an expert in psychology and psychiatry, whose famous statement, synchronization is all that really matters, reveals the secrets to deepening the synchronization process and achieving eternal happiness. Huh. Jane Selma pops up everywhere. So what? Mm. Even though they they might not be the same person, something's up with that Selma woman. Oh, this must be the last chicken. Hermes, Hermes. So maybe the red chicken was something... Ooh, look at that. Now this is cool. This is cool. I like it. So maybe the red chicken is something... Um, Taylor, her sister? Um, did? But what's with, uh... Max, Stereo, Peter... Oh yeah, and what I was trying to say, uh, but I didn't want to interrupt uh, the, um... the little cutscene. Um, what I was trying to say was uh, Taylor, as well as Sarah, were names on the back of the heads of these uh, mannequins that we found. Um, Dario, Peter, Max, Peter, Max. Okay, so this was the room of some children. Until nine years ago? Peter, six foot, May 2320. The current year is 2329, so, yeah. I remember it. <laughs> this is older than me. Chicken of justice? What? Chicken of justice! The last of his kind, he fights for a better world. When darkness falls, he dons a mask and dispenses justice. He crows each dawn with a pure heart knowing he's protected the streets of his city. Add on. Solve puzzles and summon the Chicken of Justice. Are you worthy to become his assistant? Well... Well, Sarah is kind of assisting the Chicken of Justice that is called James Cara. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Silesia. Dario, Peter, Max. My last will. Max, Peter, Dario. Max, Peter, Dario. You deserve answers. Lots of them. But first you deserve an apology. I lied to you. I haven't gone anywhere. I tried everything to get Taylor out. I didn't want you involved because it was too dangerous. The fact that you're reading this is proof. I'm sorry I left you. Sorry I didn't say anything. And sorry I didn't make it. 
I only ask one thing, and I've thought about it carefully. If I can't live without Taylor, I want to dream with her. I believe we'll dream together in the bank. Don't pull me out. Love, Sarah. P.S. I sorted everything for you. The items are below, marked with your names. Everything else can be thrown away or sold and divided equally. Huh. So who are Max, Peter and Dario? Nothing on the back. Huh. Ha 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 ha. Broken mouse trap. So Max in May twenty twenty was five foot five while Peter was already six foot. And Dario was four foot nine. It was five foot one in November twenty three twenty one. Huh. Sarah and Taylor and these are the three smaller mannequins are Max, Pete and Dario. Huh. Oh well. Let's have a look at Department of Mortality. Body confiscation of December 20th, 2321. Taylor Adams. Icarite will be delivered to the memory bank immediately. Row 731 W, freezer 77329J. Jane Selma. So, what what does that tell us? That she took a blood test at the beginning of the month. Chem screen panel. Chloride, carbon dioxide. Calcium. Protein. Huh. Um, yeah, doesn't tell me anything, because uh, I never studied medicine. So... Hmm. Let's have some medicine. But still curious, where is our medicine? Where did it all go? In our apartment. Afraid your memories will eventually fade away. I don't dwell on that. Yeah. I've had plenty on my mind. Right. Well, so many questions. I hope we can ask them all and uh, don't have to decide on one and the others just, uh, you know, evaporate, disappear, and we can't ask them. So. Let's uh, start with those chickens. <laughs> Have you read Chicken of Justice? There is no way you know this. The last of his kind. He could give up, but he fights for a better world for the rest of us. 
A true hero. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. My brother Dario was crazy about him. Oh, so... <laughs> Did Dario also write riddles? There was one on the back of the book. Yes! The chicken of justice could only be summoned by solving one. Okay. What, what, why is number four now locked? Huh, oh well, that's uh, ask number three. One room is well secured. This one room, the bedroom, is totally secure. It's a slum, but I gotta be able to close my eyes sometimes. It's possible yeah. to break in there with enough effort, but I'd have time to be awake and ready. Hmm. <laughs> Shoot the shelf above the burglar. I'd have time to reload and finish the piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the middle of the room was a bunch of files with names. Can't you respect anyone else's privacy? Nope. I said none of the siblings knew. If something went wrong, I prepared myself for it. But what's one have to do with the other? I sorted things out for them and left a will that made it clear I believe Taylor and I would be in heaven at the bank. Yeah, we, so we read. So you lied to them? Noble approach to the matter? So you're just lying to them. Didn't you hear what I said? I do it for them. Yeah, I heard. What if Taylor left you the same kind of will? It's not the same. Why not let Is them not? choose? Yeah. Exactly. I don't know, honestly. How much easier would it be if we just died? I wouldn't say it's easier. Yeah. It's different. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, why do I always do this? Sorry. Sometimes I just... I think that might be better. We get our time here and we can use it and then... Even if there was no after, maybe here and now matter more. I hope this isn't a tough question. Sarah... How are Max, Dario, and Peter now? I wasn't talking... I saw the name on the cabinets. They... But don't worry, they're all alive. And doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. They rented a legal apartment, floor 40. They have better air than here. Bodies wear out slower. Yeah, I bet. So how did a slum girl get this job? Maybe you got yours. I had to work for it. <laughs> Ouch. Um. Well. Thanks for determination. Must not have been easy for you. Fortunate yeah. combo. I had insomnia and hated wasting my time. I guess hmm. that's how I managed to pass all the exams. I mean, we saw the receipt, right? We saw the receipt from the Department of Mortality. Our department. So, yeah, they must have come for Taylor. Did our department come for Taylor? Yes. So why... Did I join you? Maybe I wanted to take control? Of some sort. I decided I was never going to be powerless like that again. I'm just a liaison, but I already know when and where they move. Hmm. It's a lousy job. Do you know which agent came for Taylor? Do you know who it was? Which one of us came for Taylor? It was hard to resist the temptation to check it out. Want to get some revenge? He was so ordinary. A regular agent. To really get justice, I'd have to get revenge on this whole sick fucking system. Huh. You want to take revenge on the system? I gotta play by the rules. Oh, but I don't make them. Tell me about it. What are we drinking to? Well, you're the expert. Sit down and make a toast. All right. Bottoms up. Two. Well, to honesty. Honesty. I think we're going to need it. Okay. Well, she's not too enthused. Yep, 
Yeah, what are you renting the body for? What are you renting the body for? Surrogate. For some rich broad. A good one, I hope. Yeah. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Tell me it's not Jane Selma. Sarah, please tell me it's not Jane Selma. I found her file. Ugh, calm down. I checked her. I got to her. She had a similar case before, and they couldn't prove anything, even with plenty of evidence. Oh, damn it. The arrangement came from me. She had the dough, I had the body with the right biological conditions, plus I could cover for her. That's why I know she's not a suspect. What? You could cover for- what? Are you fucking nuts? And the locator? You're always snooping. But, yeah. I had a transmitter sewn into my original body just in case they wouldn't give it back to me. So you don't trust you, uh, yourself? Or is that right? And was she there the night of Green's murder or not? She was on schedule. The time of the visit left no doubt. Are you fucking nuts? Alright, I will trust you. Are you fucking nuts? I'm risking everything for you, shithead. Do you understand that? The whole world doesn't revolve around you. I don't think the whole world. So trust me, like I trusted you. Alright, so you rented your body. Where did you get this one? The current model. Salma said it was recycled. So she did give it gave give her No. A recycled body? After what I've seen, that's hard to swallow. They must have put someone on ice for you to get it. No, no, no. Somebody bought a new body, and no one wanted this one. We can scan the shell and check. There's no need, really. Let's not. Come on, we drank to honesty. of what you've gotten yourself into. James, I have nightmares. Every single fucking night. I see her in them. Welcome to the club. Every morning, I wake up from them and Taylor can't. And it haunts me. Yeah, welcome to the club. What if she's trapped there in an endless nightmare? Well, that's your They're nightmare. They're your nightmares, not hers. You're projecting your fears where they don't exist, and you have to deal with them. James, I have to save her. Fuck! Ouch. You understand? Yeah, but uh, what's going on with you and Selma? Especially in this fucked up world. But if something, someone matters to you, you fight. Screw the cost. Well, well that's actually not really what I wanted thanks. to say, but uh I guess. Do you know what I give to see Rachel again? Fucking anything. Thanks for being straight with me. Press your finger. I can handle it. So yeah, um, I don't know <laughs> where where we stand now with the theories. I mean, did she give Selma her body or did she not give her her own biological body? It sounds like she did, and uh, yeah. from why do you become a cop? Well under pressure, resistant to stress, ability to assess situations quickly, only the commander instead of a coach, and the field's a bit bigger. And that's all? I believed in justice. And shit like that. But you don't anymore? Oh. Nah. As much as ever. I'm just not looking for it in the department. I'll copy that. 
Yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, take care of the investigation. Sarah, we need to start investigating. Just a minute. Not so fast. One more question. A basic one. Yeah? Why don't you tell me why you stormed in here like a lunatic? I told you. I thought you were in danger. Based on what? Did something happen when we lost contact? Mm-hmm. Can you fire up the board here? No. Do it the old way, then. In the meantime, I'll summarize the Red Room for you. The Red Room? It's a piece of fucked up history. Better buckle up. <sighs> I can't believe all this evidence. You were right from the start. Seriously? What surprises you most? That's not what I meant. But the murderer was behind everything from the beginning. Yeah. Did he take over his body? Strong assumption. We better go one step at a time. Now? You're going to get skeptical now? I just what, want to sort it out. Okay. Where do we start? James, I managed to get what was in Green's safe. There were recordings of his synchro tests and a ton of private notes. It's uh -huh. pretty unusual. Upload. Okay. Selma's records. Man, it all leads... Now, I th I'm still convinced that Selma has something, has a major role in this whole investigation. And she's not just the psychiatrist, she's, she's pulling some strings, not just, uh, not just, uh, Sarah's. Um, okay, um, tell you what, let's take a break here, and when we come back, we will, um, yeah, we will play around with the board, uh, here in Sarah's, uh, in Sarah's office and with the help of Sarah we hopefully will get to the bottom of this so I hope you enjoyed this episode and if so maybe give it a like share or even subscribe to the channel and with that out of the way I hope you have a splendid day and I hope to see you in the next one bye